You know, it's almost like your birthday with a package from China, so let's go. So in today's video, I have a new card to review. This is the Mega Drive Hit Collection. But this is not our typical multi-game card. No, 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 no. If you think so, no, it's not. It's not what you think it is. But first, let's unpack it. And I'm gonna show you why. So at first you're thinking, hmm, okay, hit drive, hit, hit collection, mega drive. Maybe looking at the top. Hmm, this is what we call naughty people. So this is basically an, let's say in Chinese, have a drive with an SD card in it for geeks, but yeah, it can depend a little bit where you buy it. So that is what we call freaking naughty. It's just a freaking flash card. And these have this little button. What I understand is for Mega Drive, or sorry, Master System, the reset button. All right, so this is what you're going to get when ordering or finding and ordering this Mega Drive hit collection. And I'm thinking, yeah, well, wicked. Multicard is not like an EverDrive. No, it is not. Because what it does, in short, this loads the ROM files up to the chip itself, reflash it, and then you can play it or it sees like an original game card. And with a multi-game card, everything is on one chip. So when you choose a game, it loads straight from a chip. That's basically the basic difference between a multi-game so multi card and a flash card. So no, this is not a multi-game card. We're going to stick it in. I'm very curious what kind of ever did they use. Uh, I can open it up to see. No, I just stick it in the Retro 3 Plus. And uh, keep in mind, because it's a flash card, it's not compatible with all versions. Just wanted to say. All right, let it go. All right, we're powering on the system. This is what we're going to get. No multi card list because this is an EverDrive or a Chinese flash card. Okay, play a game. This, when they loaded up a game into the ship and pressing start, you're going to launch the game instantly. Pretty damn awesome. Select game, we can just basically go to the SD folders. We think options, uh, for example, region free works pretty good. We have the cheat option and a little toolbox with, for example, you can update your OS. All right, let's play a game. Let's see which game is loaded up into the chip. And you can play all your games very easily on your Mega Drive. I just want to say, um, if you're having these cards, it's highly possible after a lot of rewrites that your card is going to get broken. Depends all, of course, what quality chip, etc, etc. Alright, when resetting the system, it resets the system, uh, the game itself. Okay, so I loaded up a 3 MB file. First, I'm going to need to raise the old file. I think it's something you need to live with, with, with these, these cheap Chinese EverDrive knockoff things. I think it's not bad, but again, if you have the time and you're thinking I just tried to load up a couple of games a night, it can be impossible. No mind me, I am struggling with this game. Still wait. It's a very long time to play it, but. Alright people, so for the final conclusion regarding this Mega Drive hit collection. I don't know for sure, but 
if you look at the multi-cards, there was a multi-card called 120 in one. Maybe I'll buy it, I'll review it, but what I understand is exactly the same card, only with a different name on it. So this is what we're going to get. It feels like a very thick, good quality card with no chemical plastic of a shell. The decal itself, it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice, but yeah, you can easily load up new games. I must say, this is not a multi-game card, so don't get confused and I can't live with the loading times. If you're searching for an Everdrive, the original ones are very expensive. Very expensive, but worth the money. So this is my personal opinion. Let me know what you think of this. Would you even consider buying something like this? See you next video.